Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play of the Ormans European of Service 4. So here we are, and well, Oman is probably about to get demolished, though I am going to get this final ship here. Well, final? No. But this final heavy for the war. And we're going to send the three heavies out against what seems to be some galleys. Now there's a considerable amount of galleys, but I should be able to use three heavies, especially at this level, to bypass a weak, well, a very weak. Oh man. So what I'm going to do, heavies are right there. Hopefully they should sink the galleys. Yet yeah, one galley is down heavily. Oh shit, I have made a great mistake, guys. Yeah, that cost me a heavy. <sighs> I always underestimate just how powerful galleys are in mass. But, oh man, still gonna lose. If they go to blockade me, I can get on their island. Hungary is westernizing. How do you fall that far behind as an eastern group? Okay, I overestimated my few heavies. And I can't get main navy around to, you know, punish them. They're keeping one ship out. That's rude. Just rude. What I could do... Slow game speed down a little. Get these all repaired. Get an admiral. But do I want to? I mean... Hmm. Now, Basra is going to be like the main port, I think, of the east. Will they go and pursue my navy if I send this out? Yes, they will. The moment I can retreat, I probably will. So I can retreat now. Let's see, can I take out one of the galleys before I have my ships pulled back? One galley out. Yep pull back. So what I'm going to do is to try and whittle them down. Should have done this before with the original ships I had, but I was a Muppet. So that has reduced their fleet by a little bit more. I'm not sure, did I take a galley or a transport? But either way, I doubt they're going to be able to do that much for some time. Now, I do have a spare diplomat, so I can send one over into Morocco to start claiming them. Because I do want to take all their land in the north to then begin attacking Castile properly as well. So, this will require a m four m months to recover. Nice. Not that it matters much, but nice. I am now going to be able to get universities. Which is very nice. How much would all of this cost anyway? It's very poorly developed land, I believe. 40, so yeah, that's pretty much nothing. And the thing is, this reduces it to 32, which is, you know, even more nothing. So I want a university right there. And let's begin upgrading some of these down here. So, Scandria or Alexandria is the more valuable one to do. So you're ready. He's going to go out again to fight it. So, lower speed. Is he sending more this time? No, he doesn't seem to want to fight it now. So, I am going to be risky. And I'm going to go in myself. Ottomans will get a crossing penalty, apparently. Retreat. Ooh, this could actually hurt a lot. 
Did I, I sunk a galley and I can retreat to here. There's no threat of anything there. So these were actually quite close to dying there, which is a bit of an oversight, but I did take out another galley, so it worked. Naval race. France has a big navy. Oh boy. Whatever will I do? Just how big is this navy of theirs? 33 ships, 12 of those heavies, lots of mainly transports. I could easily support a much bigger fleet though, I think. And I'm going to have a lot of heavies. The Shervanis are really pissed off apparently. Ah oh, well, let's just go and sit an army there, is it? And get ready to pummel the crap out of them all. Salty, are you? What a shame. It's actually ending this August, though. So, his ten ships... ...have been whittled down a bit. For, was it originally thirteen? Nope, he is splitting his navy up. Oh boy. What? Why would he do that? I don't know. So that's going to make him send this over here, and that arrives... Can I please see? On 15th, I can retreat by the 15th. So I should be able to quite easily sink at least two galleys here. Well, not quite, but very close. I should have probably retreated to where the other ship is, but that's taken him down a bit further. He's lost another ship, and it doesn't seem like he's actually repairing them. So I might be able to get the other ship over there now. To then you send these two in. Which still means I have to go up against double the numbers. I didn't want to click that. I want to select this. So you'd arrive in the Straits of Homers on the 14th of August. You'd arrive pretty much instantaneously. Would he move? So this is my... Ooh, shit. So it's three versus, well, one, but I, their morale just evaporated there. But now all three ships are together and they're all retreating to the same port. Was a bit of a close call, but it definitely ended much better than it could have gone. And has he lost another ship? Yep, he's lost another ship, so that's good for me. Just whittling his navy away. And it isn't ending all that badly. I mean, there's going to be another two, three ships coming out of there now. Well, eventually. Next time, we get the morale back up a bit more, I guess. Phew. So what else is there to consider during all of this? Bukhara is going to fall apart, okay. So he's allied with Hazza and Baluchistan. Baluchistan probably isn't going to do all that much. Good for him. Could be annoying, I guess, but isn't going to do all that much. So four more months there. The university should be done here. So look at this. It's getting cheaper. Actually, do states cost more or less? I remember this costed about... Well, costed? What English? Used to cost about... Yeah, it doesn't make that cheaper. It would be a nice touch, I think, though. Either way, these are gonna... I've been able to whittle the navy down bit by bit. Such strategic gameplay, right? Right. 
And I might even have four by the end of the war. Go out. Once again, he's not he's not willing to fight it anymore. Well, time to crush his, his army with overwhelming numbers rather than, you know, tactics. Siege it quickly, get it done and over with. So, yeah, it seems about three heavies equals... Ooh, all right. But it seems, well, one trade ship, five galleys and two transports are worth less than three heavies. In all honesty, I can see that. And I can just assault the walls here, I think. I mean, it is. I have got stupidly high numbers in comparison to them. Not that I'm not going to take losses from this. I definitely did. And their ships just cease to exist. So you now head to Basra. Shouldn't be that much more conflict in this area, navally, until a little longer. How, what is Lerez, uh, Lerez, I can't pronounce it. Lereristan? With? Anyway, this heavy fleet will be much better on in the long run. And let's see. So the Suez Canal is going to cost a lot of ducats, but I have got a lot of ducats. Oh yeah, I can also go and get a thing on you. Everyone's pouncing on Hungary. Could go and do that. But, uh, well, I doubt anyone's going to take this region here. Plus, Hungary still has actually got his allies, which is adorable. So, four heavies now, so I should begin to have undisputed control over versus Hazza. Ah, uh, fuck off, Morocco. We don't care about you anyway. Now, Baluchistan shouldn't be bringing too many ships to it because that Kotlu ship, he died. The next one is now in the rule. These are still being done. I don't want to waste additional shit. Very close. Very close. So, let's get these all called. Hormuz was the easiest, the other two are going to take longer. September this year. Didn't I say go together? Oh, okay. So, I am getting... Oh, Islamic uh, scholar... Ah, yeah, actually that's really good. Till the death of Bernardo, Nufir's... What? can also get you. I want all of the points. But this is until the death of who? But this decreases my tech cost, which is brilliant. And well, Hormuz, which is Bedouin already is easily called at these two which are Persian not so easily could have died a year late you know wouldn't have minded that anyway these are going to be done soon enough Tiberistan's going to be utterly demolished soon enough. Even the Commonwealth is getting some land back. <laughs> nice.
So what else is there to consider? There's the possibility of attacking Morocco eventually, soon enough. And 40,000 should handle the weakened Morocco. Should. They're at the same tech as me, so they're definitely worthy of some respect. I don't even know how many techs behind I am of Europeans. Vital Marco's only one technology ahead of me, overall. But they are ahead of me by basically administrative, and it's not going to be for much longer that they're going to be ahead, because I'm going to get Diplo. Or the military. Either works. So I could take this and just get it done. But, no. Yeah. Capital city, minus 50. Spend some of the points, just since I need to, really. Really losing some prestige heavily here, aren't I? So, Tehran is the most valuable now. And I don't really want to wait any longer. So get armies into position. Halt the spy network, it's pointless. Oh yeah, need to get one person down here. So this should be an interesting war. So these guys are all done. We fight the past, it fights back. Who gives a flying fuck about what they care? We're the strongest empire on the planet, pretty much. No one can stand up to us directly. They need to enter alliances and so on to stand up to our strong and powerful nation. Anyway, I will declare for Shiraz. Laristan is actually a fort, holy shit. Isn't it a leader somewhere? So you go on there. Yep, now you're about to die horribly. Now I have Gilan, and I have superior cannons here. So now he's dead pretty much. Oh, he's her head immediately. Because this is a capital four and he's got three siege. Because balance. How lovely. Let's kill it. The mountains the attack into mountains pretty oh boy, I've made a horrible decision. Very bad decision. I am an idiot. But it looks like I will come out on top, but yeah. He killed more infantry by about 500, but he did lose about twice the amount of cannons, nearly, and about twice the cav. So you get there, you go to Tehran. I do need to be a bit more careful. Hassa is almost out of the war, so that's 20,000 more I can dedicate to up here. Yep, they're out of the war more or less now. They're all gone. You're not what I need, and ooh, free stability. Thank you, I'll have that. So, this fleet doesn't have any more use for the immediate moment. And now it's a sieging, mainly. So it looks like they're going to Bluchistan. I'm not going to pursue for the immediate moment. Anyway, approaching the end of the episode, it seems. 
he's going to be annoying again, isn't he? I'm going to send up another... I need another leader, I think. Yeah, I haven't got much army tradition then. I haven't got enough at all. I do actually want to kill this army. Actually, no, correction. I want to kill them in general. Anyway, this battle will probably be the one that sends this episode off. Let's crush a few small pieces. He's going straight to Gilan again. Ooh, I don't want you there though. So I'm going to swing all the way around with an army. And I'm not going to pull off Mazdaran this time. So I believe I didn't get a crossing penalty last time. Laristan has fallen, so that's a south southern area pretty much going. Though I also have to get Yazd. Anyway. Killing these is going to be a much more satisfying thing to do. Now, I have to attack into mountains if I want to stop him taking the fort. That's the only real option I have up here. So, he's going straight there. And will arrive on the 21st of March. You will arrive on the 14th. So, seven days. Well, just under. Doesn't matter. He's going to arrive there either way, pretty much at the same time. And it is going to be a bad battle, but I need to at least delay him from taking that fort. So, this negative two penalty, it's too much, and the numbers are actually quite irrelevant. I just realised that, I'm a fucking idiot. So, Tiberistan, most annoying enemy. Actually, he has better morale than me as well. From technology, let me guess, defensive. Being pious, prestige, Persian traditions. No, no. Fuck's sake. I do need defensive ideas. And then I finish that siege. Then I finish it. Wow. How good. Yeah, I'm going to attack that right now. And hope it falls. Oh wait, he's going to get Gilan and then he's going to be an annoying bastard, isn't he? How lovely. Nope, he didn't get Gilan. And this is my better leader and his army is a bit depleted already. But... Jesus Christ, it's plus two. Oh, no, I do not need to roll a zero against an eight. That is not what I need at all, nor is that. I was almost winning there. Oh, he actually decided he doesn't want to siege it anymore anyway. How pleasant. So, I've got the manpower reserves to do this sort of shit anyway there. A hundred war score. Nice. Anyway, gonna end this episode at the end of this month. So I am gonna bring these troops right back up to the front line. And his bloody see his ruler is a well not his ruler, but a godly siege general. He, like really? Two two three three. Like, because I can't have one of those, can I? Either way, thank you for watching and I shall see you next time gone on for a little longer than normal. Either way, thank you for watching. See you next time.